Okay, so one more tool we are going to cover in this session that is ink tool and airbrush tool. Ink tool can be activated from the GIMP toolbox or by using the shortcut key capital K. Ink tool can also be activated from the tools menu as usual from the paint tools options and further airbrush tool can be activated from the GIMP toolbox. The icon is available over there or you can make use of shortcut key that is capital A. Airbrush tool can be activated from tools menu also. So you have seen that most of the tools are either can be directly selected from the game toolbox or you can make use of shortcut key if you remember that or you can directly go to the tools menu and from there you can find the required tool. So we will have to see how this ink tool and airbrush tool can be effectively used for image editing. Ink tool is simulated as if we are working with the ink pen. So you can vary the various parameters related to the nib like size, flow, speed of editing the things and so on. And similarly airbrush tool can also be used to paint the things with varying pressure. So in this particular image we are seeing that we have written the bird. This word is not by using the text tool but bird is written on this image of bird by using the ink tool. So in this manner if you want some calligraphy style painting you can make use of the ink tool. In addition to clone tool we are also having perspective clone tool available. This tool varies little bit from the simple clone tool and this tool can again be activated either from game toolbox or from the tools menu. It is used for creating a clone from an image after applying the perspective transformation. So you will find that it is going to vary in the operation part when we are going to apply on a particular image. So first of all you need to transform the image before applying the perspective clone tool. So it is just like uh, we are doing some kind of perspective transformation on the image and then we are trying to draw its clone on the current image. And the last tool in this session is related to measurement. Measure tool. This tool can be activated both ways from the game toolbox and you will find it separately in the tools menu. You won't find measure tool under the paint tools category. So you can make use of measure tool for measuring some of the distances. It can also be activated by pressing shift and M together. The Maya tool is used to gain knowledge about the pixel distances in the working area in GIMP window. And by clicking and holding the mouse button, we can determine the angle and the number of pixels between the point of click where we have initially clicked and where the mouse pointer is located currently. So what you can do while practicing this particular Maya tool, you can click somewhere initially and you can drag up to the area you want to Meyer. So it will return to you information either on the status bar you can see the changes or you can also find the information in terms of distance, angle, width and height in the information window. So we will see the effect of all these tools in the demo session. So in this particular image you can see that we are trying to measure the information related to distance, angle in the four quadrants and width and height of this current image. So this line which is dragged over the image is showing that this particular starting and ending area we are looking for measurements. So thanks uh, in this video session we have seen that there are many possibilities for editing the image in game as we find in other editing softwares like Photoshop. So in the consecutive next session we will see how these all tools can be practiced and how we can apply the tools on different images. Thank you.